Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today I have two separate videos for you guys. They are both collabs that I am participating in. And this first one here is on thrifting. So I saw an open invitation by my lovely friend Luann over at It's Always Something Around Here. Her, along with Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and Lori from My Titus to Journey, and also Liliana from Vanilla and Canela are hosting a thrifted home decor collab. They have asked us to go around our home and to show us some of our favorite thrifted pieces. So that is what I'm going to do here today. I will link their channels along with the playlist once they have it together down below so you can go by and see everyone's video in this collab. So let's get started. Okay, so the first item here is this large urn vase. I thrifted this last year, I do believe, at one of our local thrift stores called Grace Centers of Hope. And I just love the scale of it. It is really big. You can see my record player is sitting there on some books. So the size of this thing is substantial. I've used it in a couple of different videos so far, and I love to be able to decorate it with it because it's clear glass. I like to look for things that are like clear glass because they'll go with any color decor and you can place them anywhere in your house and not worry about it conflicting with the rest of your decor. Okay, so the next item I have here is this gorgeous, candle holder and large wax candle that sits inside of it. I do know that it originally came from Pier 1 Import, but I thrifted it or got it at a garage sale. I can't remember which. I do believe it came from the thrift store, but I could be wrong. Um, for little or nothing, and I think it is gorgeous. I like the wire framing to the holder, and then inside is this a massive white candle, and it burns deep way down inside of it. I have never burned it, and I never will. I just think it makes a beautiful piece of decor. If you, I want it, I probably could put a candle that's in a jar inside there and then burn it to be able to keep the form of this candle, but... I just use it for decor. I think it's really pretty and it is sitting here on my console table in my bay window in my living room. The next item, if you saw my Christmas home tour, if not and you'd like to see it, I will link it down below, is this huge, huge pine reef. I thrifted the reef with lights on it um, just this past Christmas time for $2.82 at a store called Value World. It's not a um, thrift store that I normally frequent. However, I went in there one day because Chad, my boyfriend, had to go next door for something to Harbor Freight and I decided I didn't want to be in there so I went and I found this gorgeous reef. I decorated it for Christmas. It had more reds and berries and stuff on it and then I took all that off and left it like this for winter time and I am in love with it. it Next, I have this really interesting and quite unique lamp that I thrifted uh, quite a while ago, years, and it was damaged. The shade on it was plastic and it was all torn up, so I took it off and I actually DIY this shade that I put on it last year for a collab video that I did here on YouTube. So if you'd like to see that, I will link it down below. I just love that it has a nice little round base to it. And then here on the top, it loops over and it's a long cylinder frame that I found this beautiful material at Hobby Lobby and placed it on there. And then at this past Christmas season, I took this magnolia flower that came from the Dollar Tree and placed it on top. And I've left it like that because I just think it adds a unique kind of touch and it makes it even more and special. And lastly, I have this very large corner armoire here in my bedroom that I purchased from a makeshift thrift store that was created when JC Penney's and a couple of other outlet stores at a local mall that we had 
went out of a business. And so they put all the furniture in one area and sold it for little or nothing. This armoire is huge. The top portion houses our television that Chad and I purchased to go in it that we have never ever watched. <laughs> we used to both have televisions in our bedrooms before we moved in together and so we bought one to go in this bedroom and we have never watched it. It is a corner unit. It is in the corner of the room as you can see there and I love it. It is a quite a large piece. I'm not going to show you the rest of the room because it's not done but it is a large room so it fits the scale of the room fine. It's just that for a piece that we've never utilized really, the bottom we have some storage in, um, it really is kind of unnecessary to be in here. I was initially going to paint it. It is wood. It is made out of pine and it was very, very difficult to get up here. We took it apart and then put it back together once we got it up the stairs. But I love this piece. I changed out the handles on it to some that I liked better because I, like I said, I was going to paint it, but when I didn't paint it, it's just going to, it just ended up leaving it like this. It doesn't bother me. Like the doors are two different colors. So, but it doesn't bother me in our room. So that's it. That's my last piece that I'm going to share with you guys. So that is it. And I'd like to thank all three of those wonderful ladies. Like I said before, I will list their channels down below along with the playlist once they have it available. So make sure you go over and check that out. I want to thank all of you guys so much for watching, for liking, and always sharing my videos. If you're not a member here at Lacey Space, I don't know why not. We have a lot of fun on this channel. Not only do I do thrifting, I do DIYs, I do haul videos of shopping at normal stores, shop with me's, and a lot of different other little interesting things here. Who knows what we'll get to here on this channel. I'm a little bit of a home decor wild card. So also if you like, I would love for you to follow me on Instagram. It is Lacey Space, the same way that it is spelled here. I post pictures of some of the things I find when I'm out and about and just my lifestyle in general. And that is it. I will catch you guys in my next video. Oh, bye loves. That's my baby Dozy. He's so sweet and calm. I don't know where the bandit is. And that is a problem.